Welcome everybody. Welcome back. This is another installment of Namaste Ready. Hope that all of y'all are happy, healthy, feeling good about yourselves, your lives, your families, your community, and this entire world, despite what is going on at the current time. I hope that no matter what's going on, you can see the positive, the constructiveness, the insight, and whatever may be challenging. And I also extend heartfelt compassion and empathy for all of us who may be going through a tough time at the moment. In this class, similar as last time, we will start with a meditation that begins with the bell, affirmation, breathing, and here in front of us, uh, we have some bowl, we have a bowl, and we're going to do a little bit of bowl work and meditation today. So, hope you all are up to it and um, for the next 20 25 30 minutes i hope that this can be a place where you can restore relax and rejuvenate and be able to go back to wherever you're going back to whoever you're going back to with more light with more energy with more passion and more 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 empathy um, for yourself and, and for others. All right. Beginning with our bell, I'm going to invite you to focus on the sound of the bell, blocking out all external or internal distractions, focusing on the sound of the bell till you can hear it no longer. And once you can't hear it any longer, just give me a thumbs up. And what I mean by external distractions, it could be cars passing. It could be other noise going on in your house uh, or outside. Internal would be maybe our own thoughts, our own pains within our body. And this is for us to be able to bring our, our attention and begin to focus our, our mind, our spirit, our emotions, our body, everything on just this bell. And then begin to focus on parts of ourselves that uh, maybe haven't been seen and maybe haven't been heard in a while. All right? Thumbs up when you can hear it no longer. Let's take in a deep breath in, let it out. Once again, focusing on the sound of the bell, blocking out all external, internal distractions and focusing on it till we can hear it no longer. And once that is done, thumbs up. All right. For the last time, if your eyes were open the first two times, see if you can close them on the last one, see if you notice a difference. And once again, focusing on the sound of the bell till you can hear it no longer. Thumbs up when we're finished. I'm going to invite you to take one hand, left hand on your chest, 
right hand on your stomach. Just begin breathing in and out through your nose. See if you notice any movement in your body. Perhaps when you inhale, you may notice your chest or your stomach moving outward. And when you exhale, chest and stomach moving in. Just notice that movement in that rhythm because it is in that rhythm where we find life. Our breath is perhaps the most important thing that we have in our life and on this earth. Without it, not much else can be accomplished. And so I'll invite you on your next inhale. See if you can extend your stomach out a little bit wider. And on the exhale, see if you can draw it in as close as you can into your body. Now on your next inhale, let's inhale to four seconds through the nose. One, two, three, four. And a long exhale through the nose to eight, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Deep hail to four through the nose. Two, three, four. Long exhale to eight through the nose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do that six more times, counting to yourself. Inhaling to four, exhaling to eight, in and out through the nose. Extending the belly outward. For inhales, pulling the belly in for exhales. This breathing technique helps relieve anxiety stress, restlessness, and even sleeplessness at night. Seeing if you can regulate your body so that you're drawing in air the entire four seconds through your nose. And as you exhale, the air is moving out continuously for that entire eight seconds. Right, last couple of breaths. Whenever you're ready, releasing your hands. And let's see if you can continue this breath for as long as you can throughout this 15 to 20 minutes. If you find your mind drifting or anything else, just begin to return to inhaling in through your nose for four seconds, exhaling out for eight seconds. If the four and eight is a little too much challenging, try inhaling to three, exhaling to six. As long as you have that one to two ratio, that's when the, the work, the breathing medicine work will activate and heal anything that needs to be healed inside of the body, the mind, the spirit, and the emotions. Continue breathing, please. And we'll go into our mantra, which is, my mind is strong, my body is strong. I am unbounded faith, I am hope. I'm gonna invite you to say that with me four times, repeating after me. My mind is strong. My body is strong. I am unbounded faith. I am hope. My mind is strong. My body is strong. I am unbounded faith. 
I am hope. My mind is strong. My body is strong. I am unbounded faith. I am hope. My mind is strong. My body is strong. I am unbounded faith. I am hope. Taking in another deep breath. Letting it out through the mouth. One more deep inhale in through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth. Returning back to your four to eight breathing or your three to six. And just notice within yourself, not wrong or right, good or bad, positive or negative, but just notice the quality of your thoughts, the quality of your posture, the quality of your breathing right now as compared to when you first sat down for this meditation class. And it's not about what's better or worse, but being able to notice how in each and every breath, we have a new opportunity to ground ourselves, to reground ourselves. And, and knowing that no matter what situation that we're in, by returning to our breath, we can gain a new perspective. And speaking of perspective, our next exercise is going to talk about perspective and identity and a particular exercise that we can use to give that some relevance when it comes to breathing and yoga. So many times how we identify with ourselves or certain things um, can uplift us. But also there are some of those times we're holding on to those old thoughts those old perspectives can prevent us from growing. So in this exercise, it is a way for us to practice holding on and letting go. Holding on and letting go. Because many times there are things which we hold on to so much, if we don't let them go, it prevents us from gaining new insight because sometimes what we're able to hold, our capacity, our bandwidth is only so much. In order for us to gain new perspective, new thoughts, new insight, new wisdom, we have to let go, unload so that we can pick up something else that is serving us. So in this process of letting go things that no longer serve us, no, things that no longer serve us, it gives us an opportunity to start engaging with life in a new way, with new tools. All right. So, as we inhale, we will open up our hands. As we exhale, we will close our hands. And in this exercise, that just allows us to begin that flow, that process, that cycle of holding on, letting go, holding on and letting go. All right. So you can place your hands if you're, if you're seated down uh, like I am cross leg. You can place your hands on your knees, palms facing up. And even if you're standing. You can just extend your hands out. Uh, if that's a little bit too much, you can just keep your hands to the side. We're making sure that you can still extend the hands inward and outward. So I'm going to invite you on your next inhale to inhale deeply to four seconds through your nose, opening up the hands, two, three, four, and a long exhale to eight, closing the hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Inhale into four, two, three, four. Opening the hands, closing the hands to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhaling, opening the hands to four, two, three, four. Exhaling to eight, closing the hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Two, three, four. Opening the hands, exhaling to eight, closing the hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to invite you to continue doing that eight more times on your own, counting to yourself on your inhale. Remember, you're opening your hands. And on the exhale, you're closing the hands, counting to eight. And the key is to continuously open your hands the same time as you're breathing in. And once you get to the end of your breath, your hands should be fully extended and you're exhaling, slowly closing them to eight. And as soon as you get to eight, your hands should be fully closed. All right. Please continue. A couple of more breaths, still inhaling in, exhaling out, welcoming in new perspective, letting go of the old that no longer serves. Letting in a curiosity about life. Letting go of old stagnant views. Opening up for discipline. Letting go of procrastination. Opening up for inspiration. Letting go blockages of any sort. And in between the process of holding on and letting go and finding that balance, the next step is harmony and transformation. Whenever you're ready, and then the hands come to rest. If you're seated down, extending the legs out, stretching them out a little, twisting the ankles, the feet, massaging the knees and the thighs, hip flexors. Bouncing the knees against the ground. Just allowing some new blood flow to come in. Just standing up, you can shake the body and the legs also. Whichever is most comfortable for you. All right. 
I'm coming back. Into any comfortable position, whether it's seated or standing or standing. We're going to work with this meditation bowl a little bit. While we're working with the bowl, I would like for you to continue with your breathing into three, out to six, into four, out to eight. But also at the same time, envisioning for yourself a particular color. Whatever color you resonate with, that color that um, makes you feel lively, um, that color that brings joy for you, right? That color like when you want to go out and you're feeling good, that's what you're putting on, all right? So as you envision this, I want to invite you just to close your eyes and just see that color. For me, it's blue, right? Just like that, that um, bright blue that's right behind us. Not the indigo, real dark blue, but more of this royal blue. Right here, for me, that's the, that's the color that I'm reson with, resonating with right now. And see, if when you see this color, as your eyes are closed, that color is completely surrounding you. As, imagine as if you're sitting inside of an egg and that egg is made of that blue color, that blue light. That color is what's keeping you safe. It's what's keeping you vibrant, keeping, it, keeping you alive. And remember, you're breathing in to three, out to six, or in to four, out to eight, in through the nose, out through the nose, either sitting or standing, just making sure that you're comfortable. And I will do this. This is your safe space. This is your space of creativity, your space of inspiration, guidance, and protection. Sorrow finds no fertile ground. Where each and every breath is filled with sweet air. And the light of the sun is warm and shines ever so bright. perspective where what we thought was holding us back is actually a stepping stone to the next level of understanding. As we find that peace 
peace within ourselves, we are able to find peace in our relationships with others where they are sometimes riddled with conflict. Where we saw no way out, now we see resolution. around us which provide us oxygen and vital life force and as we exhale they also find their life quenches our thirst and keeps us healthy. In this space of ours, this cocoon, all waters are clean and could not ever be polluted. May all the water we drink be sweet. ecosystem finds balance. We give thanks for Mother Earth. just enough to keep our earth in balance. And as we give thanks for the sun and the moon, the water, the earth, and the plants, we give thanks for life itself. Giving thanks for the ability to wake up each morning another go at it once again. May any regrets be let go. true selves are and what our purpose is in life. May we be our ancestors' wildest dreams.
نشه I'd like to invite everyone to spread out their arms wide bring the hands up above their heads inhaling deeply palms coming together down in front of our chest into heart position or namaste bowing to each other with namaste which means the higher self in me sees honors respects and reflects the higher self in you and the light in you namaste Thank you, y'all. Namaste ready.